High paying Wall Street jobs can also mean high stress, especially for young bankers, and the fallout can lead to issues ranging from depression to suicide. CCTV's Karina Huber explores why some financial sector workers spiral out of control. Investment bankers on Wall Street are among the most highly paid workers, but they're also among the most stressed. The hours are long, the schedule is unpredictable, the clients are demanding, and the culture can be isolating. Banks are social cocoons. You work 100 hours a week and they cut you off from all of your uh, private life, from your friends who can support you, from your family. For some, the stresses can be too much to handle. Over the past year, there has been a rash of unexpected deaths or suicides among young bankers. A report by the U.S. Centers for Disease Control finds people who work in financial services are one and a half times more likely to commit suicide than the national average. Experts say part of the problem is that high-achieving bankers tend to be particularly sensitive to the opinion of others. If they don't meet expectations, it can be devastating. And now with a financial crisis, the world's opinion has changed. Now you're reviled. Alden Cass, a psychologist who's written a book on surviving a career on Wall Street, says the most vulnerable are young bankers who haven't developed proper coping skills to handle the stress and often use alcohol as an escape. They're burning the candle at both ends and there's really not a lot of insight into what's going on emotionally and, and the limits to what their endurance can handle emotionally and physically. And once that candle burns out, that's when the physical symptoms start to occur. Symptoms that Cass says can lead to full-blown depression. The recent tragedies have caused some banks to reconsider their work policies. Some have made Saturdays work free, and others are requiring their workers take a set amount of days off per month. Experts say this is a step in the right direction, but more needs to be done to help the most vulnerable young bankers deal with the stress and keep things in perspective. Karina Huber, CCTV, New York.